Hey everyone, ShaBear1000 here. Today we got an unboxing, opening, uh, fan mail today. I know what's in here. You guys should know one of them, but there are they're um, slot cars. So these were sent to me from my friend up in PA, uh, Dennis. Thank you, Dennis. So let's open this up and let's check these cars out. Okay, so let's go ahead and open these up. One of them, you guys might know I mentioned, is a Corvette. But the other one's kind of a surprise. Alright, let me uh, do this over here, because one of them's pretty cool. It's a little different. Got them packaged well. Thanks again, Dennis. Appreciate that. Of course, as always, a link to his channel will be in the description box below. Um, he's got these bubble wrap. That's what I wrap our cars up in, is bubble wrap when I storm and I and I have them in a box so all right here's one gonna need tires I have tires coming too I have 16 so I have um, eight sets of fronts and eight sets of rears so this is the Corvette See the little bow tie on the windshield? So, they're not seized up. Of course, the pickups are going to need cleaned. They're probably going to need oil. And like I said, this one is definitely going to need tires. That's okay. Now, here's the one that's, that's pretty darn cool. Check this out. Is that cool or what? Pontiac Trans Am. That is cool. Got the shaker hood scoop on it and everything. Again, you know, of course, it's going to need tires. But I think what we should do is get a piece of track out. Let's do a Willet run, a true Willet run. We're just going to set it on the track, move it back and forth until it makes contact. <laughs> this is cool. And uh, see if they start up. And if they do, then we'll clean the pickups up on it. And then I'll have to set up a track. We'll run them around the track and see how well, how well they do. He said they weren't in very good condition but actually these are in in uh, really good condition as far as body wise go and you know some cleaning and stuff on the pickup shoes there uh, as he sent me a picture and said are these like you he's i didn't know he had two he says he sent me a picture this is is this like your one of your cars i'm like yeah yeah that's exactly what i have and we got to talking about them. I asked him if they were on eBay because he has some cars on eBay. He said, no. I said, well, if you want to sell them, what do you want for them? He said, I want the money for them. I'll send them to you. So I really, really appreciate it, Dennis. Thank you. Let's get a piece of track and let's just set them on the track and, and see if they run. So, but yeah, I mean, these these bodies are in really good shape. Looks like the cars are in decent shape as well. These front tires on this one's good. Tires on the front tires on this one will be all right. Again, you know, tires, but that's okay. Like I said, I've got tires coming. So, but I do have an extra set I can put on on here to try them out on a track. 
I do have an extra set of tires, so yeah, the front ones are in good shape. So these these two cars will just need back tires. All right. Cool. Let's get a piece of track out. I'm excited. Thank you, Dennis. Okay, guys. Uh, let's start with what do you want to start with? The Corvette. Let's start with the Corvette. We're just gonna set it on here. And I can't remember. Never. Look at that. All right, runs. Just got to clean those up. I mean, that's just amazing, isn't it? Who knows when the last time these these were ran? Okay, let's try this one. Oh. All right. Okay, let me see. See, this has got the double pins on it. Now, I don't know. This might go to a different track. Um, see these pins will come out of here I think that's holding it up sorry I can pop that pin let me see let's see either way you know I'm going to make it run on our track That's amazing, just set it on there and it runs. That is amazing. I will modify this so it will run on our track. <clears throat> That's not a big deal. I think... Yeah. I popped this pin out of there. Take the body off. There's the engine. See the different style engine it's got? got a it's got a worm gear on it it's called a worm gear a lot of times they'll crack over time Let me take that out because as something gets older which the tires have probably shrunk too but as some as plastic gets older it shrinks and if it don't have room to shrink um, like it's a it's around a metal axle or something if it don't have room to shrink you know it's just going to keep shrinking until it cracks um, I don't know if that's a crack or not but you can still buy these warm gears I can't believe that they just sat them on there you know and they ran I'll put some uh, O-rings on here on these tires. Make them a little bit bigger. Let me grab a couple O-rings. 
We might just set up a little track and just run them around the way they are without doing any cleaning or oiling or anything. <laughs> oh, this is too cool. Thank you, Dennis. This this is just, it's way cool. All right, let me grab some O-rings. Okay, so I put a couple O-rings over top of the old tires just to check it out. <laughs> amazing. That is amazing. Let's put this... Put this pin back in here. Oh yeah, that's going to work. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Alright, so I am going to clean the pickup shoes on this one. And I do have a set of tires to put on it. We'll try these ones first. They'll probably blow apart. It's pretty cool when they do that. But I'm gonna clean the pickup shoes first. I'll pull this axle out. Clean these pickup shoes on this one. And then, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll try these tires, but Anyway, I'll throw a set of tires on it if we have to, and then we'll run it around the track a little bit. Just I'll just do an oval track or something, and we'll check them out. So let me get these cleaned off. I'm just gonna, I got some really fine, like nail files, for women, and I'm gonna clean them pickup shoes up. This one I'm not gonna clean up yet. I just want to see if it'll run around the track, just right out of the box like that. Okay guys, I did put a, I did put two tires on that that came off of my car, the number three car, because I did set it down there and it just didn't want to go, so let's see if it'll go around the track a few times. This is a very, very fast track. So I'm trying not to go fast. You know what? I'm gonna have to put some magnets on that. Hang tight. <laughs> Sorry, I can't put the whole track in there, but I put the magnets on there. Let's see if it's any better. It should. Have, it's got magnets under it, but let's put the magnets, or let's go ahead and see if the magnets did any better. Oh yeah, that's pretty fast car. Now, I'm going to oil it up. I'm going to put some oil in here. I'll be right back with you and let's see how well it runs then. Okay, guys, so I put some oil in it. Got some, you know, little fur strings, fur out of it, dust and stuff. So. A lot smoother now. Try 
why did this one take off? That one shouldn't have took off. Okay, something ain't right here. Oh, it's probably, well, yeah, it's probably because I got this piece of track in here. I need to turn it around. See if this thing will go around with the overings on it. It's sliding, of course, but it's going to with them overings. This one might be a pretty fun car once I get some tires for it. I think this. I don't know if this is a was a. What they call a jam car. Which they didn't run as fast as other cars because. No, it couldn't be a jam car because it's got the pins in it. So I'm not sure. But. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty quick. But not as fast, of course, as the other ones. But it's still going to be a fun car to clean up. And yeah, see, it slides real easy with these tires. Or while they're not actually tires, they're O-rings wrapped around the tires. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that Corvette around a bunch of times. Get that oil worked into it. This may be deserving of a tune-up kit, which I happen to have that came in today. So let me run this around a little bit, guys, and then I'll be back with you. Okay, real quick, I just wanted to show you the difference between a 440 and a 440 times 2. 440 has one long magnet across the back. Right there. Of course, I added these ones on myself because it didn't want to stay on that track. That's a fast track. And the 440 times two has a magnet on each side, left and right. So that's the 440 and that's 440 times two. So that's the difference in them. So I'm gonna keep running this car. I can't remember about these and I'm actually trying to look them up and I can't. I remember I had a uh, this might have been for that. It was a, uh, it was it was a it was a trucking. It was a Tyco trucking, and the one I had had a fire truck. It had a dump truck and it had a police corner. I remember right the fire truck was set up like this that long shoe now I don't know that might be two shoes on each side I'm not sure I can't remember okay it's one long shoe one long pickup shoe and I even tried to look them up and I'm not coming up with anything 
to give you any more information but as the information comes in I'll let you know but we're going to have some drag races I don't know if it'll be this week or the weekend but I was going to do it over this past weekend but um, well life happens <laughs> I got busy you know filming and working on the truck monkey loves her new backup camera that's her valentine present so and her new stereo but um i'll see if i can find some more about this but it does say taika right on the back of it hk that's probably hong kong but that's that's all i the information i got out of this and everyone i've looked up on on these cars here um they just had the single pickups on each side not the long long ones so I don't know guys I'll have to let you know more about that and the pin is a little different um, I don't know if you can see that but right there on top see that pin and then if you look at these pins like that one see how thick they are and they're a longer pin So, I think I can change in pins and make it run better on that track. I don't know, but I'm going to keep running this a little bit longer. Okay, guys, so that's all i got for you today. Stay tuned for more slot car races and working on slot cars and building different tracks. And this summer, Monkey and I are going to have our big race competition, whatever you want to call it. So, um... But thanks again, Dennis, and as always, a link to his channel will be in the description box below, and um, I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching, so I'll let you go. That's all I got for you. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend, I'm off for now, and I'll leave you with some different angles of this car running around the track. Uh, all we did was clean the pickups, put tires on it, give it a little bit of oil, so it seems to be running pretty good. So stay tuned for more, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks again. Bye-bye, and take care.